Humans are hurting right now, but there are good people out there bringing light to these dark times, proving that kindness wins. Let's start with a woman using boards for change. Seeing boards up on businesses and homes is a little jarring and eerie. When Sacramento businesses started boarding up due to the protests, sports anchor Lena Washington saw a friend's social media post looking for an artist to beautify the board on her business. Lena shared it and received interest from other businesses and Boards for Change was born. Sacramento's known to, you know, breed artists and have community involvement. We had families out here painting together, graffiti artists who are using their talents in a productive way. I suggested donating or, or auctioning off these boards with proceeds going to local black youth organizations and underserved communities. Lena and her partners launched a GoFundMe that's raised more than $6,000, all of which will be donated. To learn more, check out Boards for Change on Instagram. The response has been just overwhelmingly positive. Next, an extra sweet graduation. We gotta do something for these kids that are missing out on so much stuff. When COVID-19 shut down graduation for the class of 2020, Bill Hanish wanted to do something special for seniors. So his Minnesota-based bakery made a cake for every student graduating from high school in his town. To see their smiles on their faces when they get their cake or the pictures that we get sent to us, it's pretty cool to just to see how happy they are. And thanks to donations, Hanish Bakery was able to make cakes for 15 schools nearby. About 1,200 of the two-layer buttercream-filled cakes topped with a diploma were delivered to graduates. It's rallied families around these kids and allowed people to make memories for them. And finally, learning life skills with a football pro. So many kids, they don't have a foundation. When the pandemic hit, NFL pro Jamar Taylor was forced to cancel a skills and drills camp that he hosts for young kids in San Diego. But wanting to still give back, he and community outreach director Theron Wilburn came up with the idea to offer a free virtual life skills academy for high school juniors and seniors. The four topics of resume building, uh, financial literacy, interview prep, and mock interviews, just because those are the skills that a lot of high school students don't have. Uh, it's not really taught in their curriculum. The four-day academy kicks off this weekend, and Jamar says they want to incorporate it into future camps. To learn more, check out Jamar Taylor on Facebook. I think just having that base and knowledge, it will help them in the long run when trying to get life started. And those are three stories where kindness wins.